she's gone. <laughs> Home run. Final versus metal corner beads. Let's play ball. There's a great debate in the drywall world. Mike lights metal bead, while Steve loves these Trimtex vinyl beads. These babies can hold up to damage much better. So let's put that to the test, shall we? And she's gone. <laughs> Home run. Let's take our best swing at this trim text now, shall we? Watch out for the curveballs, though. This one could be a little different. She's gone as well. <laughs> okay, boy. Strike one. Okay, ball players. The game's over. Hit the shower. <laughs> let's take a look at how we did, shall we? Okay, so first, let's look at the metal corner bead. My exit velocity on both hits were, were quite the same, but you can see the damage is very different on both the metal corner bead and the vinyl corner bead. Now, let me show you exactly why the vinyl damage is gonna be much easier to fix, and this metal damage is impossible, and it's toast. If you come in nice and close, you'll see that the metal corner bead right on the edge actually indented completely. So when the bat struck the corner, you have a bat sized dent in your corner bead. Now, of course, I could go with drywall compound and I could create a new corner, but it's never gonna be strong. The reason we put corner beads here in the first place is to create a sturdy corner for bumps and scratches and stuff. If you put drywall compound, or even spackling in this corner. It might look good for a little while, but it'll be super susceptible to people walking by, bumping it and it will chip right off. So can I fix this? I'll try and it might look good, but I'll show you how fragile it is. Now the trim tax on the other side, if you look at the trim tax, what you'll notice is that this edge here, this leading edge is still nice and straight. The vinyl absorbed the impact of the bat, which is a very exaggerated impact, but if that leading edge, that strong edge that we have there is still there. It's still intact and it's still straight. So all I have to do in this case is I have to staple it in on the spots where it's lifted, re-mud it, and you'll have no idea and it will be just as strong for next time. I'll show you how to do that as well. If this can handle a bat, it can handle anything you want. So let's try our hand at fixing the vinyl first, shall we? Vinyl bead kind of puckered out where it got smashed. Just make sure there's nothing back there, no hard bits. I'm just gonna scrape that out. I'll take a stapler and all I'm gonna do is staple this back in place. Making sure that those are self flush. Now the vinyl's been reset with a mechanical fastener. Now I'll go in with some drywall compound, both sides. Now obviously this is just a small example. I'm not gonna finish mudding this whole wall, but I just wanted to show you how easily I can fix that spot right there. I mean, I'll sand this down, it's almost ready as it is. Probably give it another skim coat afterwards. But now not only is this gonna look good, it's also gonna be just as strong for the next time someone takes a baseball bat to it. So let's go try the metal corner bead and probably strike out. Over here, there's really not much you can do. I'd say the first thing I'd do is probably cut out some of this stuff here, some of the flappy bits. That's gonna be tough. It's, uh, it's gonna be tough. So this, this is impossible to fix. It, there's nothing you can do with that. I'm gonna show you that I could slap some mud on there and maybe trick a landlord or two. There's nothing you can do. Try your best.
like I'm going up against an Aonomo with this one. There's nothing I could do. Um, this metal corner bead is dented, it's busted. You might be able to kind of put a superficial top coat on a crack like that, but ultimately the corner bead is ruined. You're better off taking it off, prying it off, putting on a brand new one. Whereas this vinyl bead, really by tomorrow, this baby will be ready back to normal and swinging for the fences again. If you want a reason to switch to vinyl beads, look no further. Take a bat to your wall, see how they turn out. Which brother is right then? Mike or Steve? Mike's always right, even when he's wrong. <laughs> Definitely.